Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and uh, this is going to be one of my three last, you know, Finds of Freddy's videos, and this is pretty much going to be a hot take, because, you know, as you've seen from my other videos, I like spreading a little doom and gloom around the FNAF fandom, not like it needs anymore, but, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> So, I want to make this disclaimer now, in case, you know, people don't like it, just kind of not warn them, but, you know, let them know. This is going to be a lot of speculation, and, you know, this doesn't have a lot of evidence to back it up. You know, this is really just based off of my interpretation, you know, what I've seen, what I've heard, and all that kind of stuff, so, you know. <clears throat> so, if you don't, you know, like that kind of stuff, if you want, like, something definitive, you can click off now. Not trying to sound mean, it's just, you know, you might not like this video kind of thing. If you do, if you're willing to hear me out, then, you know, of course this is going to be a bit of a long one, but, you know, I assure you, you might want to hear the entire thing to kind of, you know, <clears throat> understand what my point is of, of the video. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, my take is basically, my hot take is basically... Why the I think the FNAF movie, the second FNAF movie, may suck. And I can already hear what you guys are saying. <clears throat> Cyber, why are you saying the second FNAF movie will suck when the first one is still in production? When the second one is even like conceived of yet? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see, it's already been confirmed that there are going to be three movies in the FNAF series. And the general consensus is, you know, like the... <clears throat> general, you know, idea is that it's basically going to follow the first three games, and that the second one is going to be FNAF 2. And the thing that pretty much, you know, is important to realize here is that FNAF 2 is technically a prequel story, since the first FNAF game takes place in 2003, I believe, and the second FNAF game takes place in 87. Uh, you know, like the bite of 87. And... <clears throat> So, of course, my reasoning for why this is bad is basically, if it is a prequel, it's probably going to follow the Missing Kids incident when it first happened. You know, because 85 is, of course, when the Missing Kids incident happened. <clears throat> and we all know how important it is to FNAF. I mean, it's the reason, it's the catalyst to why everything pretty much happens. And <clears throat> my thing is... Is it really necessary to have it in the FNAF 2 movie? Is, should it be in there? And really, is it, uh, should it be included at all? Because the thing is that the way the FNAF 1 movie is already going to go, we already have, you know, confirmation Afton's going to be in there, the ghost kids, all that kind of stuff. And from the cars and everything pretty much in there, we know it's going to take place in the 80s or the 90s, or at least it's going to flash back to there. So, my reasoning is basically, the Missing Kids incident is definitely going to play a huge role in the story, as it always does in Five Nights at Freddy's. And, we already know the <clears throat> movie rule, you show, don't tell. So, it's not just going to be, you know, hearsay, uh, you know, he killed, all that kind of stuff. I do think it's going to be slowly revealed, and I think that, you know, what Scott, what Scott said about the movie, how it's going to be bloody, I do think that that is, you know, not necessarily going to be shown, but, you know, at least the aftermath of the Missing Kids incident is going to be shown in the 80s. And my thing is, if, you know, you show the Missing Kids, uh, you show them getting killed, you show William Afton being the culprit, and, you know, you find out that he's the one who did it, then is there really a need for a FNAF 2 movie at all? Because you've basically seen everything FNAF 2 has to offer. Since it takes place during the time of the Missing Kids incident, and, you know, maybe... Well, not even maybe. It's pretty much going to show the very first time that they get possessed. So, yeah. It's really just a thing of, not necessarily, is it going to suck, but is it going to be necessary? And this is more based off of the belief... Hold on, I gotta kneel down. I was standing up. No, oh, shoot. I was standing up when I was doing this, but yeah. Because the basic consensus is that it's of course the movies are of course going to follow the first three games. FNAF 1, FNAF 2, and FNAF 3. And really, after showing pretty much everything in FNAF 1 and, you know, giving away a lot of the story, 
there's not really going to be that much to add in the prequel. Because, you know, the missing kids incident, at least in the first three games, is pretty straightforward. Afton killed them. And, you know, they went on to possess the animatronics, and that's pretty much it. I mean, really, there isn't really anything to add there, and the only time they would add something is, you know, at least I hope they don't do this remnant. You know, giving more, like a, um, more to the story than, you know, there are, than we already know. Remnant. And I hope they don't do that, because as much as, you know, I do like some of the later games, I do think that Remnant in the end will hurt the movie, because, you know, hasn't done great things with the uh, FNAF fandom and the FNAF timeline and the FNAF story, you know what I mean. Like, you're if you're a fan and you've known the story for, uh, not since its conception, but if you've been following the story for at least over a year, you'll know what I mean. And... That being said, I already know what some of you guys might be saying. But Cyber, <clears throat> there is a lot that FNAF 2 has to add to the story. For instance, the puppet. And you know what? I'm willing to give the benefit of the doubt on that. That's kind of where the may or may not uh, suck comes into this. I do believe that the puppet could work in being introduced in FNAF 2 instead of FNAF 1. But, and there's a big but there, they have to do it right. They have to make it work. See, the thing is that if they add a new character in a prequel story, I fear that it may come off more as some sort of retcon. Even though it's not, you know, a retcon or was planned originally, it may feel that way because it wasn't properly built up. I think that they should build up certain things that, you know, we need to learn about in the FNAF 1 movie that they we will, you know, find out about in the FNAF 2 movie, such as the puppet. You could kind of allude to the existence of the puppet in, you know, FNAF 1 and then, you know, showing off what happened in FNAF 2, even though it's kind of going to be a reiteration of the things we hopefully, uh, well, not hopefully, but, you know, have already seen. <clears throat> So, hold on. Now, I know that even if the puppet is added, a lot of FNAF fans won't mind since the uh, puppet was, you know, added in FNAF 2. And, you know, what? it didn't feel like a retcon at the time uh, because, you know, it was a new character. It was technically a sort of sequel of sorts. You know, it didn't really follow anything in the main game and all that kind of stuff. It, it, at the time, well, even in the actual story, it's its own, you know, separate story from Michael's story, because it takes place, you know, before he starts going to location to location. It is, you know, technically, well, not technically, because it isn't, but, you know, it is pretty much one of the earliest, uh, <clears throat> events, you know, uh, parts in the entire, uh, timeline, because, you know, it takes place in 87, which takes place two years after the missing kids incident, you know what I mean. So, <clears throat> my fear is that if FNAF 2 is to be a prequel, and it tries to introduce new elements, and tries to go over elements we've already seen, it's really not going to do that good of a job. Now, that's not a comment on, you know, the writers or anything like that. I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm not saying, you know, this is going to happen. I am willing to give the benefit of the doubt. It's just my fear is that, you know... In trying to do a prequel story, they may not do it, n not right, but, you know, they may hurt the story a little bit by introducing these sorts of things. It's kind of like a thinking ahead sort of thing. And, yeah. I mean, I know many, like, normal FNAF fans won't really, you know, mind it because we like the puppet, we like, you know, Mangle, all that kind of stuff, and we wouldn't mind if these characters are introduced, but, you know, general audiences who may not know that kind of stuff, and, you know, suddenly this new character gets introduced, you know, no build-up to them whatsoever, they're gonna, you know, be very critical of it. And, you know, it's not necessarily the thing that I don't want the movie to get criticism, but it's more a thing of, you know, these sorts of things have to properly built up to appeal to everybody. I don't know. That's kind of my, you know, thoughts on it. You know, my, uh, not interpretation, but, you know, <clears throat> like, uh, my sort of thing. You know, <clears throat> sorry, uh, my throat. It's kind of, you know, my, when I'm speculating, basically. So, yeah. 
Uh, but I know I'm pretty much the only person, at least at this point, that I know who has thought of this. I mean, I know people are looking forward to the other uh, movies, but I'm the only person, at least from what I've seen, who's worried about how the prequel story may go. And, you know, like, this isn't really based off of any experience since, you know, I'm not a writer. I'm not, you know, part of movies. But I heard, I have heard that there are a lot of things that can hurt, you know, damage prequel stories, and I, do, I just don't want, you know, Final Fantasy to make that mistake. But let me know what you think. Do you think that uh, they'll <clears throat> build up to anything that'll be revealed in the prequel story? Do you think that, you know, they'll make the mistake? Do you think that, you know, they've already thought ahead on this? Let me know in the comments down below. <clears throat> Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you did, like I said, comment down below, leave a like. Uh, if you want, stay tuned for any future content. I have two more videos on Finest Phrase that are going to come out. Not soon. Uh, they're going to come out, I guess, when they come out. I'm, I like being unscheduled, but yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See y'all later, and I'll talk to you all later.